How is it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm going to be starting another experiment battling soil versus hydroponics. So for this experiment I'm going to be using basic salad mix. So I've gone ahead and I've seeded every single one of these trays with 25 grams of basic salad mix per tray. Uh, so let's start over here with our soils and let's talk about what's going on. So we have a coco coir which is going to be our control group because it does not have any nutrients. So we're just gonna be giving this guy some water and that way it will provide us with a baseline or a control. For our second soil, it will be Texas Pure, which is a local soil for us. It is very sandy, very heavy, and we're hoping it works very well. So this does have compost in it, so it does have a nutritional value. So that is what we're gonna be comparing the growth against for the cocoa. On to our hydroponics. So we have the seeds placed onto Biostrate which we are going to be bottom watering with two different nutrients. Technically one is gonna be our control, I think. Is this one our Epsom? That is our Epsom. So this is Epsom and filtered water. The reason it has Epsom salt in it is because I have added it to all of my nutrient lines and to make sure that the Epsom isn't giving everything a boost, I've added it to the control as well to make sure that everything is as consistent as possible. For our second group, or for our second tray rather, we're gonna be using uh, Job's Organic Water Soluble Organic, Organic Hydroponic Mix, just organic. <laughs> so it was one of the only ones I could find with actually organic in the name for being something I can use hydroponically. So all of that being said, I'm really excited to see how these results come out. I will not be stacking these because the last time that we stacked basic salad mix, there is something mixed in here. It might be arugula or something similar, but it's mucilaginous and it causes everything to stick to the tray above it, which is a really big pain in the butt for whenever we need to water these because we pull them apart. And we've got like half of our seeds stuck to the top uh, or to the bottom rather of a different tray that we have to figure out how to get back into this. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm gonna get these covered up with blackout domes for probably four to five days. We'll update you as you go, and we'll see how this turns out. All right, so today is day 11 of the basic salad mix soil versus hydroponic test, and the results look pretty great, honestly. From uh, appearance, it's hard to tell who did the best. I could definitely tell that the soils did really, really well. Um, our control group on the hydroponics seems to be the lowest, uh, or uh, slowest growth, rather, and the other hydroponics is looking super happy. So I have to admit, I slightly cheated on this test. So we started using Job's Organic Water Soluble, which number one, smells really bad, uh, and number two, provided terrible, terrible results. Like for the first five days, this thing was hardly growing at all. It was way behind the control group. So I kind of cheated and I swapped it out for a different hydroponic nut nutrient, which is uh, Maxi Grow. <laughs> I went blank there. Um, so the Maxi Grow was actually able to uh, accelerate this growth enough to kind of catch it up and make it uh, viable in this test. So this isn't a good representation of Job's Organic Water Soluble. I would say that uh, I will never be using Job's Organic Water Soluble again. Uh, the, the results were just very poor. It smelled terrible, it smelled strongly of fish, and uh, we just didn't get growth hardly at all. So. Um, all that being said, I am still excited to see the results for the weights of the control group for the Coca Coir versus the uh, Texas Pure, and then also this Epsom versus Job slash Maxi Grow. Um, so let's go ahead and get into harvest. I'm going to get all these chopped up, weighed out, and then I will see you in just a moment and we'll talk about what worked and what did not work for this test.
All right, so we just finished harvesting all of these basic salad mixes, and I'm gonna read out the weights and order from lowest to highest. So our lowest weight was our control group for the hydroponics, which is our Epsom salt with a total weight of 136 grams. Uh, above that was the Maxi Grow Job's Weird Blend that we did uh, to end up saving this, and we got 194 grams out of that, so that was actually looking quite nice. Um, just above that one, six grams higher, is our cocoa, which is our soil um, control group. And the highest weight, uh, again, this has just been spanking it for all our tests recently, is the Texas Pure. Um, so all that being said, what worked, what did not work. Um, so what did not work was our Job's Organic Water Soluble. Again, I don't think I'll be using that in another test. Uh, what also did kind of work was the hydroponics. If I had not added the Maxi Grow, uh, I would have been a little defeated here, but because this uh, maxi grow was able to provide some growth to these even dying crops and almost catch them up to our soils, it shows me that these have a lot of potential and I can't wait to see how we can kind of push this a little bit further, especially because harvesting hydroponics is so much easier. So what really did work was our Texas Pure. Again, this thing just spanks it. it, it had, it's just a a great soil overall. The great thing for us is that it's a local soil too, so I feel like I'm not uh, really, I guess, hurting the environment in a sense by having some soil shipped from somewhere way out, who knows where. Instead, I'm just able to get a local soil and it provides great results. Uh, and the last thing that also kind of didn't work uh, was that we did a three-day blackout on these. Uh, we did a four-day blackout on our other hydroponic tests and those are looking much taller. These were a little short for my liking, and I think that just one extra day of blackout uh, has provided quite a substantial amount of extra growth to be able to be used. That was a lot of information. So again, this is what we're finding in our space. I just do these experiments for us and our space to see what works best for us and what doesn't work best for us. Uh, soil provides great results, but honestly, I love hydroponics. It's just so much easier to use, so I'm trying to uh, get that to grow a little bit better. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We would love to answer those for you. Uh, if you would like to, we do lots of experiments. As you can see, all these over here are going to be hydroponics and we're still doing hydroponics versus soils and we always do hydroponic versus soils. So if that's something that interests you, please click, click the subscribe button. And if you would like to, our Instagram is at on the grow farms. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.